Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing very well. So today's video is going to be based on a bit of a brainless blight build, which is luckily not going to be possible for much longer because the add-ons that I'm going to be using are Adrenaline Vial and Compound 33. Compound 33 will let me break a pallet as soon as I run into it. Adrenaline Vial makes my charges come back a lot quicker and gives me two extra charges. This means that I can basically just walk survivors down, run into a pallet to break instantly and then have my power back either for mobility or to get an easy hit. This is really strong even if you're not particularly good at playing Blight because you can basically just use it to shred through pallets. On top of this, I'm going to be using Enduring so I don't have to worry about pallet stuns and bamboo so that I can shut down windows where pallets aren't being used. I'm also running deadlock and pain resonance for basically passive slowdown. So yeah, I, I hope you enjoy the video and I will see you in the first game. Okay, I have filmed a fair few games and they have not gone well. Survivors have been given up very quickly. So I'm just going to quickly say something that I keep saying in every game I've been recording now and then I can just slot it in to whatever game actually gets put in the video. So I am using my power. Um, I know the video was kind of you know no skill required in the thumbnail but even if you don't really know how to play blight you can just use this power for mobility and then use these add-ons to just shred through pallets and then bamboozle as well to end chases really quickly um so even though i am using my power to get hits it doesn't mean that you have to to make use of these add-ons all right let's start this chase all the pallets on this map are really weak so to be honest i could probably play around most of them Yeah, like that. Like, I don't need to uh, take that. There's another break. He slowed down from the break, and now I catch up because of Adrenaline Vial. Really good. It's stupidly strong. And there's a pain res for some slowdown. This gen was being done. Let's see if it's still being done. I heard someone drop. They ran around the outside, I think. Yep, there they are. Somebody's going for the save, but let's fine, let them. Never mind. Free hit. I couldn't get a hit on the ace there, so I decided to just convert that into a free hit on Michaela. I have endurance, so I can just walk through all these pallets and then break them instantly if they do stun me. Well, that was good go for this there we go I saw a scratch marks over here that was a hinder so somebody was in that area there they are that is fine chemical trap uh, this pallet isn't that strong, so I can just play around it while Chemical Trap's there. Chemical Trap lasts, lasts a really long time. Um, but again, I can just play around that pallet until it's gone and then break it. Somebody screamed, so they were doing this gen. I got to hear it now. Oh, it's not an ace, it's a Renato. Here's some bamboozle value. Very nice hit. And this is going to be another pain res, which will probably... It might hit that gen again. It might hit a different one. I'm not sure. Okay, they're both completely healthy, but I do have two people on hooks now, so... I see you over here. That was really nice, being able to kind of thread the needle a bit there. Let's break this. Tank the chemical trap. It doesn't matter. Look at me go. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. I've not seen that before. It seems they have given up. Okay, I don't think I get my power back before he drops this pallet. Actually, I do. I get it back right now. That's so stupid. And I can just walk after him. And get that hit. Hit Michaela as well. 
And then down goes Michaela. Michaela's dead, so we'll just hook her. I don't know if he has given up. I think he's just, um, maybe he was tapped out of the game or something. I'm not sure. Michaela might have given up to go for the unhook right in my face like that. That was a hinder. I'm not sure if you can hinder people on hooks or not. Uh, okay, I got stuck there. I... Okay, that's what I'm following. Nice. He was waiting there, but look, I just swung around the corner. Okay, so now we bamboozle. And he goes down, I think. Nice. I wanted to bump there. I was considering swinging just to end my rush a bit earlier, but I bumped just to um, slow him down. And there's Bamboozle, so he can't take that window. He gets this pallet. I break it instantly. And now I can just walk after him. There you go. I'll have to play Blight. There's your tutorial. Oh, that was like a that was like a 1-8. I have no idea how I did that. He actually did a good job there of blocking me from bumping off that door. Um, I should have slid there, but maybe this map has different collision on Shaq than other maps. But I should have slid right off there. That was a, actually a good play. And then jumping in the locker as well should have saved him, but I managed to hit him just like at the last frame probably. Like, I'm going to catch him, and then I'll let him go. Good flashbang. Almost got me, but not quite. All right. GG. All right, here we go. Um, Ideally, I'd want to be mostly playing around the upstairs of this map, because the downstairs can be a bit annoying. Although, with extra rushes, it might not be too hard to navigate. There we go. First pilot out of the way. First hit. Nice and quick. She's camping that for some reason. You do that, get a power back, run. And down she goes. <laughs> it's so stupid. I think I saw this one over here. I want to make sure there's no flashlight save coming through. Yeah, there's not. Uh, never mind, there is. <laughs> there definitely is. Just not from where I expected. Let's listen. Oh god, I can hit her through the wall a bit too clearly. She drops this and then we break it instantly and then same thing happens again. There we go. There are two people trying to get this saved. They're kind of wasting a lot of time. Let's just pick up. Damn it, they're exactly where she needs to be. Oh, that was lucky though. And we get pain res now, and there's another two people not doing gens, so. The one person that's doing gens probably pretty mad right now. Yeah, that's a problem with adrenaline vial. No corner turning. Yeah, my power is going to be back in just a second. There we go. Just take it slow there. I've got plenty of rushes, so I don't need to... Um, well, I don't need to rush because I've got so many rushes. Drop that. And there we go. I'm not going to vault again because I don't want them to know I've got Bamboozle. On this map, Bamboozle's not going to do much, but you never know when something might come into play. Another pain res. That's beautiful. Uh, I need to pay attention to my scores to make sure that I'm not um, hindering people and missing it. 
Because, like I said, that is one of the other benefits of this add-on. That was a miss? Wow, okay. No idea what she's doing there. I have a feeling they might have um, enemies necessary and wanted to save that pallet. That's kind of what I would do if I wanted to save a pallet. I'd vault back into the killer so that they would, um, they'd ignore it. There we go. She had off the record. She might have um, DS as well. We'll see. Nope, just off the record. And this gen is the one that's furthest along. That was a hinder, though. Aha, up the stairs. See? That's kind of the tracking. Ooh, Cheryl almost ran into that and gave me a hit. That would have been nice. She thought she was going to get more distance there than she did. So yeah, I have been using my power these games like to get hits and stuff, but I think I have shown that you can basically just use your power for mobility. If you're not very good at Blight, um, you can kind of just walk people down and use Bamboozle and um, Compound 33 to get your hits. Let's break that and then go for you. That was a good hit. That could have been really awkward on the stairs, though. That's the thing. People are expecting stuns to be good against me because it kind of delays when I can use my compound 33. But um, I've got Enduring, so I don't care if I get stunned. And it's very obvious when people are camping pallets anyway. Here is Cheryl. Let's just walk her down. Get a hit. And then maybe use my power to catch up. She dropped. There we go. Just patience there. That's what you need to get that down. Nice. Good try. That's background player. Is this my last pain race? It is. I think she's... I have no idea where she went. Those scratch marks and they were just gone. Well, thank you for that. Uh, let's put her into deep wound. There we go. Just to slow them down a little bit. Just to be extra mean because I can. I hear someone. I actually heard the... Um, I think it sounded a bit like a feng to me. Is there a hole here? There is a hole here. Yeah, it was the feng I heard. She kind of gave way Nancy. Um. Yeah, see the downstairs on this map is really hard to navigate as Blight. Especially with Adrenaline Vial. Um, so that's why I kind of said I wanted to stay upstairs as much as possible. But like at this point of the game, like you know. It's not exactly going poorly for me. I can kind of afford to chase wherever I need to. They've gone upstairs. I swing there. A little bit of bamboozle value here for this game, I guess. There's the arena. Let's pretend I'm going around then come here. Oh, she just kept running. There we go. Very nice. She's given up. <laughs> yeah, if they're downstairs, you can't really hit them. 
Let's see, who brought the map off for him? It was the Nancy. See, I don't really want Nancy to get away then. But I also don't want to slug Cheryl. So if she gets out, she gets out. I'm not a fan of map offerings in general. I kind of think they just shouldn't be in the game. Or they should at least be very, very rare. She ran down into basement. I saw that. Yeah, she doesn't get away. All right, and uh, that will do it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And um, this is the first of hopefully me getting back into making videos regularly. Please do check out the Twitch if you're not already following me there because I do... Um, I have been streaming a little bit while I've not been posting videos and that's been quite fun. So it'd be nice to see more of you over there. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.